Hi, it's Dia. Today I'm taking this image from my coloring book, Coloring Dreams, and I'm going to use every single pencil in the 168 set of Guanghui Hero colored pencils. As you can see, there are a few flowers that I already colored for previous Guanghui videos, so I figured I would just leave it but I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna still use every single color, even though I used them before, I'm gonna use them again. I started with the greens and I figured I was gonna finish all of that first and then I was just gonna go and move on right from there. Well, it didn't work out that way at all. And before I even was gonna start with the greens, the set comes with several neons, so I was gonna put the neons down first because in this set, if you put the neons down first and you color over it, the neons stay. Well, I did do that, but I had to go back and forth so many times, and I was determined to finish this today. So what ends up happening, partially in my quest to do this relatively quickly, and partially in the quest to do it correctly and use every single pencil, is that I think I'm going to finish one thing, I think I'm going to finish all the greens, I think I'm going to finish all the neons, and then I forget like one little area or one little spot. So it was... A definitely a study of going back and forth and then once all those pencils started to pile up on the right hand side that was a challenge on its own. So being in such a hurry I thought the greens were done here I was very wrong I went to the pinks I started the pinks and then of course I had to go back to the greens. Now I'm gonna speed this up a bit. Then right about here I started to think what am I actually gonna do with the background? So like I said before this set has tons of purples and lots of dark colors. And with this set, it's kind of hard to tell with the barrel what the actual color is. So my plan was to use a lot of the browns, the grays, the blacks, and even some of the really, really deep bluish purpley colors on the bottom as the background. So the bottom would kind of look like, mm, like it's planted in dirt. And then on the top, there would be a bluish background, very intense and bright and dark in the center. Well, more deep than bright. And then as it went out toward the, the edges of the pages, I thought it would be nice to, nice to go like slightly lighter. So right about here, I was kind of wishing that I did start the whole thing over and make it about half the size. Although blue is kind of the everyday choice, of course, for background, I figured it was a perfect thing to do here because not, none of the flowers are really blue. There's some blue in the poppies below and the pansies. I'm sorry, yeah, I think they're pansies. Um, and there's really no place else for blue, so the sky and the background. Thumbs up. Now you can see me using one of the neon colors to do some of the veins in the leaves and the little tiny dots inside some of the flowers. Now I'm going to be using some of the autumn colors in the set to just offset the green of the leaves. There's so much green in, in this picture I figured it would be nice to make some of the leaves look a little bit older or worn out. Now I'm doing some of the background again. Now I'm taking the darkest blues in the center because there would be the most shadows behind all those white flowers and all all those leaves. So I start with the deepest most rich colors in the center and then I go lighter as I go out. I have to say I really learned that I really like the blues in this set. They're rich, they're 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 so pretty. I went back and forth in the center between every blue, every purple, black, gray, and sometimes I combined the two um, just for a variety. And you know what? I was afraid of what this picture was going to look like because I have never done anything like this before. And the more I used more colors, the more I realized I have been not using enough colors in almost all my pictures. Back to the sky. I went back and forth between two of the lightest colors 
in the set. And here I took the silver pencil and I still don't know if I love this, but I did it. I made um, a, like a, a kind of a long flattish cloud, very light. Now I'm doing the same thing that I did with the blues, but I'm doing it with the really deep shades at the bottom. I overlapped browns, purples, grays, blacks, um, mossy colors. Uh, I mixed them all up because I kind of wanted it. Well, first of all, I wanted to get all the pencils in there. And second of all, I wanted it to look like a decent picture. I didn't just want it to look like a mishmash. I wanted it to look nice. Oh, I was coloring away so happily. And then I checked, I don't know why, but my phone ran out of space. So I colored many areas in, including several flowers that I wanted you to see, but they're there. Um, for what that's worth, um, at this point, I'm on my last approximately four pinkish red colors. I would consider this color that I'm using right now a strawberry color and uh, we'll just keep we're just keeping on. Now the last pencils that I had were the violets, the purples, the plums, the wisteria. Um, I had used some before, but those were the only ones left. So I literally grabbed them all in my hand and I figured I would make the last pansies in those purple colors. Although this is speeded up somewhat, I left the pansy so you could so you could sort of see what I was doing here. I had a few more violets left, and I wanted those flowers to remain white. So I went back in with the violets and the blues, and I added any dimension that needed to be done with those, with those leftover violet colors. I also added some shading throughout the whole image with the violets and sometimes with the teals during the times I was coloring leaves. Um, Right, so right now I'm just, I'm adding a little bit of dimension just so they don't look like flat white flowers. Then I went in with a buttery yellow for the centers of, of those white flowers. Also to add some interest, add a little depth in the center. And then I added a little bit of green around the perimeter of the yellow to make them look slightly more realistic. I also went over some of the flowers near the bottom with the green to make them appear that they were almost in a shadow a little bit more. And sometimes when things are in a shadow and they're amongst greenery, the shadow picks up the color of the, of the greenery or whatever else is around it. Now I'm almost near the end. And at this point I'm adding shadow, I'm adding some detail and just looking over the whole thing and kind of fussing around. Like I said, I didn't leave all of those petals white. I left, well, I, I made some of them green. I made some of them even slightly purple so they appeared in shadows. And here's what it looks like. Um, it was a really fun experiment, actually. Um, it took much longer than I thought it, it would, I think just because I've never, I've never, done a picture where I've used that many colors. And 
I learned so much. I'm going to have to rethink this in general. Now, this isn't perfect. I didn't do this picture as neatly or as cautiously as I normally would because this there's a lot of detail in this in this image and I wanted to get it finished and I wanted to get it finished today and I wanted to use all of all of the pencils. So I I did things in this picture that I would never do if I had time to think about it. I also did it much faster than I normally would have. So I don't I don't know if it would if it sort of tapped into an area that I don't usually use during coloring or art in general because I usually take my time. This was very much quicker, faster, um, and I loved every minute of it. So that's basically it. Um, what, what I'm doing now is just going over some of, some of the blues, um, you know, basically fussing like I always do at, at the end of a picture, and uh, that's about it. I'm so glad you stayed with me through this whole thing. This was a whole lot of fun, um, and that's about it. If you like this, I hope you give me a thumbs up and possibly share. You can subscribe below if you want, and there's a little bell next to the subscribe. If you hit that, you'll be notified so you don't miss anything. And that's it for now. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you, I have a new coloring book coming out very soon. Um, there will be an announcement. I can't give you the exact name because I don't have the exact name yet, but I'm very excited. Uh, it should be within a couple of weeks. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Once again, I'm so glad you're all here. Thank you for staying with me through this video. It was really fun and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.